it was too tight across the uterus and uh, I can't change that. Uh, it kind of lives there. So cropping it right above the uterus seems to be what my uh, best bet is. Lizzie McGuire, you are an outfit repeater. Hi there. I have accumulated a very large pile of unfinished sewing projects. So today and really the next couple days, I'm going to make myself finish them. <laughs> at least as many as I can. If you've been needing a kick in the pants to get your unfinished projects done, well then this is it. I've kind of been in like a creative mental block the last couple weeks and just really feeling unmotivated to do anything creative. And I think part of the problem might be that I have amassed quite a large pile of unfinished things. I keep starting things and then like losing steam and trying to pick up something else and uh, obviously that's not working. Yeah, let's go. I think the best place to start would be finishing the dress alteration that is sitting on my desk right now. I bought this dress a couple weeks ago because I absolutely love the color and the pattern, but it was really frumpy. It fit terribly. That's what I get for not trying something on in the store. So I basically detached the entire bodice and the sleeves and just completely remade a new bodice from that, which meant the sleeves had to be sacrificed, but I think if that means a better fitting dress in the end, I'm okay with that. I started to film this as a short and then I just was like, I, I don't want to. So far, this has involved learning two new processes, one being shearing fabric, which is so freaking cool. And then I also made my own bias tape for the first time. The last thing I need to do now is finish making the new straps, make sure that they fit and then put everything together. Guten Morgen, everybody. Well, it's actually the afternoon, but it's really gross and rainy and gray and blustery out today, so I'm getting a, a late start. So late last night, I finished the straps on this dress, and then I had to go back and redo all of the bias tape around the top edge of the bodice because it was gapping really weird. So I had to undo it and do like a stay stitch all along the top. So I didn't film all those adjustments that I made, but I think those did help. So now I have it pinned and the last thing I need to do is just uh, stitch it together. Oh yeah, I also didn't film myself gathering the skirt because that's so tedious, it's so tedious. So now I'm just gonna stitch this together and I think it should be done. So this one is done. I just need to iron the seams flat. And I think I'm gonna wait to show you what it looks like until the end. I'll do like a project parade or whatever, <laughs> but cool, now I can move on. So right now, since our storage space, well, our everything space actually is limited. I've been keeping all of my fabric stash, my notions, craft and art supplies, like everything is just shoved in this closet as organized as it possibly can be, but it's very much a tight squeeze. And just the other day, it occurred to me that these hanging plastic bags would be good to sort my in progress projects rather than just piling them up in a basket under my desk because that was just getting really chaotic. So this way they are separated, easy to grab when I want to work on them. And that way I can also keep notions and any other bits and pieces sorted with the project. I think I can finish at least two of these this weekend. And so I'm gonna start with this cowl neck top that I started making from a pillowcase. I just couldn't get the fit right, so I kind of gave up. So I thought that by putting a zipper along the side that would help me get in and out of it more easily, but then it was still too tight down towards the bottom. But then it occurred to me more recently that uh, the zipper doesn't have to be right side up. It can be upside down. There's no rule that says the zipper can't go that way. So I think that will solve my problem if the zipper goes from the bottom up. Before I could attach the zipper, however, I had to fix several things that I left in a state of disrepair when I gave up on the project last summer. Talk about reaping what you sow. Sorry, I'll see myself out.
So as far as correcting the things that I screwed up last summer, um, I am making some progress with this. I think I will need to fix the placement of the straps in the back. I think they're gonna need to be in a little bit just so that this pulls in that way a little. I could have just made this a halter top, couldn't I? It's not off the table, but anyway. But as far as adding the zipper, I think going from the bottom will work better, but there still just isn't enough fabric down here and it's really, really tight. That's just not the kind of fit that I want. I wanted this to have more of a relaxed fit. So I think actually what I might do is crop it. <laughs> That's not originally what I wanted, but actually I think approximately this length, like right below the belly button is good. And then I can just barely avoid the point where it was getting too tight, which is basically where my uterus is. <laughs> it was too tight across the uterus and uh, I can't change that, uh, it kind of lives there. So cropping it right above the uterus seems to be what my uh, best bet is. I think that will be a good solution. So let's give that a try. Project number two is almost done. The zipper is looking pretty good. I moved the straps in one inch each. I added a little split on this um, like bib of extra fabric just so that the drapey part um, will hang better, but I do actually need to crop it a little bit more. I tried it on and it still just felt a little bit too long. I'm actually going to do that off camera <laughs> while watching some TV because it's just going to be a lot of seam picking and then redoing the hem. And then tomorrow I can move on to project number three. All right, y'all, day three. Let's see if I can't figure out something with these corduroy pants that no longer fit me that I was trying to turn into some kind of skirt jumper overall thing. I don't know, let's uh, let's see how big of a mess I left this last time I put it away. So it looks like where I left off with this was I had cropped it to the length that I want and I opened up the middle seams so that I can add panels to make it actually a skirt. I'm not sure if I actually have enough fabric. At the very least I can make this a skirt. So I think what I need to do next is make these little insert panels for the front and the back and then I definitely need to add a side zipper if it's going to be a pinafore. So I think what I need to do is just complete the skirt part of it and then see how much fabric I have after that and go from there. I know you probably can't see it but this tiny little hummingbird just perched on the top of the tree right outside. The skirt portion of this overall jumper pinafore thing is done. So once I put on like the uh, the front panel and the back panel, I won't be able to use the front zip. So I added a side zip, which is a little funky, but there's that. It kind of left this gap here because I just had to cut the waistband. So I put on some Velcro, but unfortunately I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this right now because this is really all the fabric I have left and it's not quite enough for what I wanna do. So I think I have to pause on this project for now and wait until I can go out to the store and try to get a close matching fabric. So I made good progress at least because the skirt portion is done. I feel like the fit is a little funny but it's fine. Couldn't quite get this third project all the way complete due to lack of fabric. But I think there are at least two more tiny alterations that I left halfway done that I can finish tonight. So down here is my basket of deplorably unfinished projects. Not you, not you, not you. So this pair of shorts uh, turned out a little wonky when I hemmed them, so I want to redo that. And then this tank top, well, it's a t-shirt that I turned into a tank top. I had finished the edges with bias tape, but I didn't really like how that felt. So I'm gonna retry doing that just with my serger and see how that goes. So I think those are two little things I can finish tonight. Good 
Why do I stay up so late? So shorts are fixed and at this point um, I'm gonna wait until I was about to say tomorrow but actually just uh, later today when the sun is actually up to finish the black tank top because this sucker is so freaking loud. So that should only take me a couple minutes to do tomorrow and then I'm just gonna get around to showing you everything that I've done and wrapping it all up. Actually, never mind. This doesn't quite look how I wanted it to and um, picking all of that out and redoing it is going to take way too long. So how about I just move on to showing you the three things that I actually did finish. Three projects isn't bad. It's not as much as I hoped to get done. I just wasn't working as quickly as I thought I would be, but that's okay. Still got stuff done. Marathon sewing is a way to get things done, but it is not the best way because I put off a lot of other stuff I should have done this weekend. So that's three completed items that I can wear this summer. One project that is like two thirds done. I want it to be done well, you know, so I can actually wear it comfortably. So I really do need to just get more fabric for that, but I made really good progress on this. If you're still here and made it all the way through this video, let me know in the comments what unfinished projects you've been putting off. We all have them. I know you do. Uh, but that's enough of that. I'm gonna go outside because it's quite lovely today. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Actually, probably... Why am I... Why's my posture so bad? Also, are we wearing these ironically or in earnest now? Which stage of postmodern nihilism are we in? Are we still wearing these ironically?